Our first reading today is from 2 Kings, the fourth chapter. A man came from Belshelisha, bringing food from the first fruits to Elisha, the man of God, 20 loaves of barley and fresh ears of grain in his sack. Elisha said, give it to the people and let them eat. But his servant said, how can I set this before a hundred people? So he repeated, give it to the people and let them eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and have some left. He sat it before them, they ate and had some left according to the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Our psalm is from the 145th Psalm, verses 10 through 18, that we will read responsively. All your work shall praise you, O Lord, and your faithful ones shall bless you. They shall tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that all people may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom Your dominion ensures throughout ages. You, Lord, are faithful in all your words and loving in all your works. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and loving in all your works. You are near to all who call upon you, to all who call upon you faithfully. Our second reading is from Ephesians, the third chapter. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray according to the riches of his glory, He may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with the power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all of the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly, far more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. (laughs) 